We are on our national adventure. Today we're in Sandy Springs at the Overlook Park. Chloe, did you find poppers? Chloe finds poppers off these bald cypress trees. The seeds dry out and become poppers on the ground. But I don't think they have any. I don't think it's seasoned just yet. Then they keep the park pretty clean, so you're not gonna find any on the ground. I bet in the fall they probably have dried poppers, as they call them, or dried seeds. But those bald cypresses are a lot of fun for that. Despite the park opening in 2010, Morgan Falls Overlook Park has plenty of history under its belt. It's located on the north end of the park. You can find the historic home sites of the Power family, a group of pioneers that operated a ferry here for over a hundred years. The playground is equipped with a jungle gym, swing set, and more. Mom, this is so much fun! Morgan Falls Overlook Park is one of Sandy Springs most gorgeous preserved projects. Even though it opened in 2010, this 30 acre park offers a wide variety of outdoor activities for everybody to enjoy. There are three covered pavilions located next to the playground, which serve as a perfect spot for lunch or just hanging out in the sun. They operate as a first come first serve basis, but they can be reserved for larger groups like birthday parties or family reunions with a permit from the city. They've got a short 0.7 mile loop trail for quick exercise and some beautiful views of the lake. They also offer the High Country Outfitters Paddle Shack to rent a kayak or a canoe out on the water for the day. Could you imagine if you had your house here? This location has a powerful story and recent history and archaeological studies have confirmed that the land was once home of pioneers. The Powers family operated a ferry here. <laughs> We're at the park at an overlook area where there's an old fireplace that overlooks the water. It's gorgeous old stonework. We're gonna check out the water. Called the Upper Powers Ferry, it was marked on the federal maps but never became a preferred crossing. In fact, one 1864 map labeled the crossing as bad but the Powers' prolific family thrived regardless. Here, a log cabin was built on the site in the 1830s, and Joseph and Isabella Powers had at least eight children. The Powers' tenure on the site ended in 1902 when they deeded the property to the Morgan Smith Company and the Atlanta Water and Electric Company. The Morgan Falls Dam and Hydroelectric Plant finished construction in 1904, and the Chattahoochee River was flooded for the Morgan Falls Reservoir, also known as the Bull Sluice Lake. See the turtles? Yeah. We're looking down at the water and we see turtles. There's a mom and a baby that are looking out at the water, enjoying the breeze that we just found. Some ducks. Yeah. So if you're looking to go kayaking or boating along the Chattahoochee River, they do have options where kayaks are made available and you can rent them out to go kayaking here. It's a gorgeous park. They've got a ton of amenities. And the property's more than 100 year hydroelectric history helps to solidify the site's value as historical resource on the city's earliest settlers. 